Let's see, I think they did the combat better in the Indiegogo demo. I actually never saw the Indiegogo demo. Uh, just because I generally stay away from demos. There are definitely games that change a number of core concepts between their initial releases or initial glimpses than the final product. Yeah. And I think in their case, what might have hurt it in this case is just scope. They really liked the idea of this character that had a whole ensemble cast within her, mm -hmm. I guess. And I'm not sure if that, uh, like, I'm pretty sure that kind of held them back a little. I mean, it's a good excuse for why you have characters that materialize out of thin air when you're just platforming with her alone. Okay. Oof. So that should work. Or there we go. Okay. Oh, Whoa. that's different. Your. Did it roll into a ball? Release itself? Have all of its body parts? Yeah, it's got like a bunch of organs up in there. It's almost as though as it it had dismembered itself into several parts and then reformed as something else. Yeah, I didn't really know what was going to be in here. I just kind of went this way because it was new. Like a six-eyed tiger with some insectoid bits? And bat wings. Oh, several eyes, actually. I mean, there's tons. Several eyes on its uh, main and head. And other, other faces, too. No, what I meant was it's, it has the main six eyes, but then there was also... There's also some on its shoulders, its back, but they seem to be affixed to other faces. What if those arrows just stay in it? Oh no! Okay, so this sucker... Uh, this sucker heals from magic damage. Ah, uh, okay. Fine there. It's a weird ball beast. <laughs> I feel like her toss and like Zunok and uh, Zebok and. Is it Hunok and Zenok or? Yeah, I feel like they would have actually been. Uh, should have been. Uh, they should have been... I guess a part of... Oh, well, no. If I had used certain characters that had, like, ball-related abilities, it should have been, like, uh... Did you ever find out a way to blast through the blue? I thought so. Oh, yeah, you're right. Ouch. That's not good. I'm just... Uh, you know what? You're right. This is a dead end. That ring song. Oh, but you could have stood on that final block that never dissipates. <laughs> or that. Yeah. I have tricks. <laughs> See the... Bird scales like Yan and Phoebe, it turns out. You mean in terms of, like, just raw damage? Oh, Kushi with her bird? Yeah. My problem is just, like, using her abilities was awkward. It was also awkward to have a giant avian... So obscuring our view, essentially. Yeah. I just found... If she, uh... 
if she had got attacked ever, it was just like, and you're out of bird mode. And it was kind of awkward. I might give her another go, but like... So far... Oh, the, the flowers really can't grow on that. Alright. I guess I got other solutions. Let's see, so where am I? I'm back here. Oh, yeah, weird shortcut. What are the gray portions of the map? Uh, let's see, gray portions of the map? Uh, it's just a separate region. Kisses from mama. Fly true. Okay. Like, I feel bad that I've just devolved to butt mashing, but like, currently hasn't been too much of an issue for me. Uh, and also, ow, uh, hasn't been too much of an issue for me, and also pressing up and down on the stick currently physically is kind of uncomfortable, so I'm saving that for platforming challenges. Let's see. Oh, directly up. Oh, but are you expected to switch sides with the... I don't know about that. It's this section up. Uh, like, this is how we're supposed to get up there. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh. oh, I see. So you Maybe. need to... No, no. Oh, the pogo works. Yeah, the pogo works sometimes. Maybe you have to jump up and then pass through? Uh... Because I don't know if you ever slid upwards. Damn it. Okay. Just waiting for it to descend. Don't think you would have been able to do this game on an Xbox. Oh shoot, Xbox controller. How did you? Uh, how did you do it? A PS4 controller probably would have worked better, but hard on me. It is true that the, the both of those joysticks are on. They're not joysticks, though. You don't grab them with your full hand. What would those little sticks be called? Are they just Thumb sticks? Thumbsticks. Thumbsticks? Okay. Yeah, on the PlayStation controller, the thumbsticks are both in that. the same position on the lower edge of the... It's, it's mainly just the, um... The Xbox controller has, like, little, um... I'm gonna say nubbins on the sticks, like it uh, to give it more grip. The problem is that means more friction. Wait, so the pain that you're experiencing is some kind of abrasion as yeah. opposed to yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent abrasion. Hmm. The special ingredient is love. Because <laughs> I, I is just... it bad that I still love the Nintendo 64 controller? I, I'm more partial to the GameCube controllers. I felt <laughs> I felt like those were pretty good. I like the button. Uh, I found the button layouts to be pretty good. Uh, if weird by like modern standards, but it was just kind of nice to have the central A button that was like particularly large. So if you have to do button mashing, that's the button. The small B button was a bit of an issue. Whereas, like, the N64 better. controllers are, they're quite literally two controllers, uh, cooked into each other. But, okay. I suppose it's interesting, if you think about it, button combos don't really exist on mo modern controllers. There are button combos for particular attacks, but they have to be pressed in sequence. But, with the Nintendo 64, if you wanted to do... Smash! You would do AZ 
Uh, you wouldn't have to hold them at the same time, though. So, uh, it, it's still feasible with other controllers, but... Let's... I just grew up with controllers that only had one stick. Yeah, but that was like, at this point... The Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, the Atari, and the Wii. But the Atari, it was... That was definitely a joystick as opposed to a thumbstick. But... Like, and there the... was only one button on the Atari. Yeah. One. But that doesn't mean it was a good thing. It was very limiting. And would not work by, like, modern standards in the slightest. My dad had the other controller variety that was specifically used for Pong and stuff. It was the one with a dial on it. And so you'd use one hand to twist the dial and the other hand to press the button. Yeah, I prefer modern tech. I Oh, it's the dog. Oh. Oh, that's how we could Is it Yashi? Work. Is that what's yep. its name? Whoa! Oh, no, not Yashi, it's Lanshi. Whoa, is that Lanshi? He beat us here. I guess he likes you, Ashna. Who's a good little puppy? You little puppy facey wacy. Oh. Ah, oh, gross! Stop it, Dar. He doesn't like that. Yes, he does, don't you, sweetie pie? Dar. I know you're mad at me right now, but do you have to stop being so gross? Or you have to stop being so gross? Urgh. It's not gross. It is a little gross. But this is how you talk to dogs. What are you? 80 years old? Ignore him, Lanshi. Let's go. <laughs> Lanshi! <laughs> The mysterious mastiff lends you a paw. Okay, oh. so you can pet the dog. Oh. Ah, oh, so petting him generates itty. You can call lightning to charge an enemy. What, advanced dog petting? Put Lanshi to sleep and pet him to charge up an attack that will damage all enemies. Okay. Weird. Might as well try him out. We'll try him out. He seems... He's so fluff. Oh, yeah, you made it. Great. That... That... Uh-oh. Can you jump over no. and then... I don't hook. think that's super doable. Is it the where edge of the I? map? I don't know where I am. I just ended up here. Go, go, or... No, ah. Nice. And this is why I've stopped doing combo attacks. Whoops. Oh no. This is why I stopped doing combo attacks with the uh, combat. Because the platforming is enough for me. Uh oh. Eh. You eh. may have needed him. Nah, I didn't. I can't, uh, I can't get that one jumping area yet, so. Okay. So we can improve our defenses further. I'm not really sure if I need it, though. But yeah, we got something above. There might have actually been something below if I kept falling, but I doubt it. Wait, hold on. I gotta see how he works. Uh, no, he's pretty good. Bro. Ow. Uh, 
Oh. Yeah. If you'd just gotten to the edge. I remember this had caused difficulties with you the last time. It's awkward. <laughs> But I didn't have... Ah, uh, no. Great. I didn't have this. I was gonna say, oh no. <laughs> this part, you're starting to get back into well-known territory. Well-known-ish. Look before you leap. Ish. Oh. The thing is, if you're barely using your idiot attacks, then what's the point of putting the poor doggy to sleep? Oh. Look at those jowls. Yeah, no, he's actually obscenely the good. Because he, he has a bark that hits all enemies. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like the majority of his attacks inflict damage to all enemies. Like, he's weird, but like, just his base attack is really solid. Now, oh, dang it. What's up? There's like a spot that I missed. Over here? Here? I think you have to go around and hit the... Oh. Or was that to get over to the other side? Okay, it's not a spot. The map is just bad. Because mm -hmm. it just looks like there's... There's the spot. Is there a reason to go over there? Oh, maybe there was a ring cell there before. Okay, so what's this up? Wow. Okay, so he just has extra borks. <laughs> I think it's regular out. Yeah, the one unfortunate with it, thing with him is he, uh... Oh, let's see, the one unfortunate thing with him is... Like, I can put him to sleep for, like, a damage bonus. I just don't think it's worth it. But I'll keep him around because, uh... He doesn't seem terrible. That was a good save. Ow. Alright. Almost there. Oh, slide. Great. None of that was intentional. That was me just mashing buttons and being very lucky. Oh, that on the left. Ouch. So is this another route up? What was yeah. to the right? I just want to know. We got to go down. I don't know what's over here. But this leads somewhere interesting. Oh, what's that? A, a block? Yeah. Uh, why... Why did you just stop on it? Because I didn't see if there's anything else. There is a square on the other side. 
Ah, oh, oh, maybe I need to axe. Yeah, I was trying, but right I there. didn't up instead. Uh, I guess I could also do like a dash jump instead, instead of getting height. Close. Yep. There we go. Oh. Because of all of the dog barks being used as attack, people are asking about the dog barking. I haven't heard a dog today, and I'm very appreciative of that. Unfortunately, some oh. people around here leave their dogs outside rain or shine. And they're barking and howling and whimpering and fighting other dogs through the fences. And it's just, ah, uh, our first couple months here was just a cacophony of very angry, upset dogs all the time, all hours of the day, several hours in a row. Uh, now it's substantially quieter. What? What is... This place sucks. So you won't be able to get back without Pogo using the Pogo no, stick. No, I can get way? back, but I can't go up. Mm-hmm. You place flowers on the ground, though. No, you can't place f flowers on the ground. Interestingly enough, this almost looks like an area where you have to create a platform with <gasps> something. Because, yeah, I you'd think I could, but that's not how it works. Okay, well, we're just going down this hole instead. I guess we might as well sail. Uh, well, I, I guess I'll consider that flailing to success. Do that. Also, thank you, Chris Lon, for the 200 dog bits. <laughs> we... Oh, hey, we got the ring cell up there at the very least. Okay, counting that as a win. Is there a way to get up that main shaft, or are you just going to the right? I'm just exploring, seeing as they've hid like a ton of ring cells all over the place. Mm hmm. Oh. Let's see. There's one other spot. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> My platformy fingers are tired. You know what? This is one of those where I might as well just come back later. I was kind of hoping I could get like one or two more ring cells for extra superpowers, but still. Also, thank you, Alzarath, for the sub. Thank you so much. Thank you for hanging out. I'm sorry, I pretty much... He's in focus mode. Yeah. You need to be when you're... Yeah. The, the, oh. This looks to be very difficult platforming. I've... I've... I believe we've discussed this before, but I don't recall playing much for side-scroller oh. platforms when I was young. Got really with lucky the with the exception that one. of maybe some levels of LEGO Star Wars, I think? Most of my... Platforming experience had been with the old 3D collectathons and such of the day. Okay. Because it looked like there might have been something. At the bottom of this. Ooh. Yeah. Um, oh, it, it goes into the main chamber. <laughs> yeah, there's an insane amount of just like variability on where you can go here. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to go through a lot of platforming to get, back, to get back. But 
I mean, it'll be fine. But yeah, I, I guess for frame of reference, seeing as you might not recognize the name, but there was a period of time where I was kind of part of a, a group of YouTubers uh, that did Minecraft. And I think I was kind of the worst among them because I, I would hop on the server and do stuff, but I, Minecraft was never really in my wheelhouse, nor did it do particularly well. Um, called Strange Lands. And so I'd try and do stuff, and I did a couple of videos in relation to it. But I think I just quickly realized that Minecraft is just never really my thing. Why are uh, people asking about Minecraft, or why are you talking about Because uh, the guy that just subbed, Elzerath, was uh, one of the other YouTubers in that group. Okay. And I just feel like it was worth sort of bringing up. This is... Have we been this way? But I think Minecraft is just a, a thing for other YouTubers. This feels like... Minecraft oh, is one of go. those games where you really do have to make the content yeah. that you're playing. And actually, one of my earlier, like, one of my most successful I... videos early on was actually me just chucking eggs at things. <laughs> and, like, yelling about it like some kind of crazed big game hunter, which was fun, but, like... It's unfortunate, but I'm not too fond of voxel games, so... They can be very pretty occasionally. Well, think of EverQuest Next Landmark when it came to voxels. That would have been impressive, but the studio, I think it got well, bought or went yeah, under. It got sold or... to a Russian investment firm who had no idea how to run a game studio. Ooh, uh, and why? more or less has been like wildly mismanaged to the point of non-existence. Uh, and the character models for that game were so pretty and they were doing all of these community polls to figure out what races they were going to add to the game and... Like, I know everybody to likes see. to give, uh, Smedley shit, but, like, they actually had stuff going for it. The EverQuest Next trailer looked legitimately good. You and even put some money into that for Landmark and such. Yeah, I bought Landmark for, like... I mean, I think I, I bought into it for, like, 20, 40 bucks. Which, like, at the time was huge. Uh... I was enthusiastic because I really liked their designs for the Dark Elves. Uh, and the Dark Elves, they may have had ties to dragons and such. They had horns and the traditional drow essence to their color scheme and such. But I just love the character models. They were going to have some kind of lion race. Humans, orcs. The orcs looked awesome. And they were doing polls about whether or not people wanted gnomes or fey. I would have loved to be fey in a game. Even if they're closer to human sized. I still really like the idea of having a race of beings with wings. I mean, I suppose you could play Aeon for that. <laughs> Okay, now we're back up. Couple ring cells richer, but uh, will it be enough for the offensive? No, I need twenty. I need twenty-five. Defensive? I need m nine more if I actually want to get what I want. Ooh, that's that's new. That's one of the. Uh, it reminds me of one of the worm sorcerers, yeah, it is. except it's, it's a recolor. Same model. Okay. So I wonder what it's supposed to control. Maybe nothing? Let's see. And this is where we were fighting. What's his face? Is it... Oh. Hold on. That doesn't have the sparklies. Oh, that's... That's terrible. Impersonation? Impersonation. May have put too much in that. What about impersonation? Uh... Alzerath was talking about people making channels and stuff and pretending to be him to get onto servers. Ooh. That's weird. 